Hi, my name is Alex, and today I'm excited to tell you about YWriter 5. YWriter 5 is a great application that allows you to write books professionally, and it's very important during NaNoWriMo. This is a month where you create your novel in 30 days, so you need to boost your productivity real fast. What YWriter 5 allows you to do? First of all, you can create your chapters, and then you can have scenes in every chapter and you can manipulate your characters, locations and items in order to make your book very, very consistent. And this tool also allows you to see if you have some kind of logic misconceptions or logical mistakes in your book and we, got, we will get to it in a minute. So what it does for you and how? First of all, you have your project. And if you go to project settings, you will find that you can name your project, name the author, you can define your deadlines so you can track your progress, and you can also have uh, rating names which would allow you to address specific aspects of your book. For example, you can rate your humor, the quality, tension, or for me it would be a consistency while it might be uh, a uh, relevancy in most of the books. You create your chapters, you can create multiple ones, you can create one, one by one. In every chapter, you add scenes. Every scene is regarded specifically in aspects of. You can have your details specified, type of scene, action, reaction, importance, or subplot. You can sort your relevancy, tension, humor, and everything else. So you could rate your chapters and then they decide which one are about to stay and which are not. You can say which uh, characters are uh, participating in your book. So for me, characters are actually application names because I'm writing a technical book, but for you, it might be everybody else. And when you double click your character, you can see that you can uh, write its name, full name, alternate description, and also you can have tags and decide if it's a major or a minor, uh, minor character. You can add a bio, you know, if you want to have some kind of a reference, so you can document everything in the same place and it would not go into your book but for reference it would be really fast for you to go over them you can have notes for example if you have research and you can define goals and if you have a picture in your mind you can add a picture for every character same goals for locations if you have a location you can define the same things title and uh, aka description and tags and you can add the picture for example if you have a location that is a house you can uh, really draw really fast a uh, outline of the house so you know the word director moves from one room to another and add a picture here for reference so you would know okay here i'm talking about the room number one there there is the saloon there's the kitchen there's the toilet i don't know anything that you can uh, see fit to to your specific books items can be tracked if you have a magical bow that moves around and changes hands all the time you would like to track that as well so you can add a new uh, a new book uh, or a new uh, a new item from time to time in notes section you can add your research and of course you have a picture that describes the specific scenes. You can set goals. For example, my goal would be describe the tools, right? A conflict if you have or an outcome, for example, tools are used, right? So, uh, and then you can define the, the exporting. Do you need to export it every time that you export your book or only when something else happens, all right? So this is your, these are your scenes. What else can this book do for you? You can run reports. For example, you can run a full synopsis and it would open it in your Google Chrome browser or whatever browser you have. And you'll see real fast what's going on. Right now there is no content in my book, so it's not too much field, but it's really, really important for you if you like, for example, to share your progress with someone, everybody else, or you want to see what your book looks like from outside. Another interesting aspect of this specific tool is uh, the work schedule. You can uh, create one schedule, for example, you want to write 1,600 1, words every day. You can set it in this book and it will track your progress. So we know that you are right on track. We're talking about 1,600 words per day if you are going to write a 50,000 words novel in one month. Now, you, the important part of this uh, tool that allows you to really track your progress and uh, the, see the logic behind it is here in tools. You can, do, you can go to storyboard and see which chapters are 
covering which subject. So I know that my uh, application, or for, me, for you it might be a character, and uh, going uh, for video pad, it participates twice in uh, two scenes in the same chapter, and then in the next chapter it does not address we are not addressing it at all. It's very, very useful. You can move them around, shuffle them around. For example, if you would like to change the logic of your book from time to time. This is very important. Another thing that really helps you is the content itself. As you see, you can write anything and it doesn't mark it as a spelling mistake. It's very important when you write a book not to be considered with, with anything that regards editing. If you are trying to edit as you write, you are going to miss your goals and you're going to stumble on many, many different things and you're going to waste time. You want to do it separately. And you need to understand that writing a book and editing a book is two completely different processes and they need to be separated. I hope you like this tool. You, I, you should definitely give it a try. It's very powerful. It's very strong and it's really helpful. For example, you can have your uh, application run in two uh, different windows for every chapter that you have side by side. So we can modify two chapters at once because every every uh, scene is open in a new window. Uh, this is also very helpful. If you find this tool useful, please download it. The, this, the download location is in the description below. And uh, if you like this video in general and would like to see more, please subscribe and share, spread the word. And see you around. Have a nice NanoRime.